Okay, so let's start with the kind of standard cheesy diagram of how the internet works because this is important for understanding FTP, which you need to use to get your files online. And I found in teaching this material before that this is the part that the majority of students have a hard time with, and it's this fundamental necessary thing. So we have the internet here, which everybody, you and other people, can connect to to get information. And your computer is connected to the internet, but generally your computer is not providing the content that other internet users want to see. If you've done something like peer-to-peer -peer sharing, maybe that's the case. But generally, when you access the internet, you're going to servers that have the pages that you're trying to download. Those aren't hosted on people's individual computers. They're hosted on computers that are dedicated to providing that content. And that's because computationally, there's a lot of power required to serve big sites. Um, sometimes you need much more storage than you could have on your own computer. And if you shut your computer down or you move it or you lose your connection, you would then lose access to all the pages that you were hosting. So when you create a file on your computer, the first thing that you're going to do is transfer it to a server. That server is connected to the internet. It will always be on, it's running a program that lets other internet users access the pages in a way that would be hard to do with your own computer. This step where you move files from your computer to the server is called FTP. That stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it just means that you're moving files from your computer onto this computer that's going to let people access them over the web. That's all configured. The server we're using is hosted by the university. It's connected to the internet, and it's set up so when people type in a particular URL, they access your pages on this server. So even though we're going to create files on your own computer, people won't access them there. You need to put them on another computer, and that's what FTP is for. So let's talk about that server. We're going to use a service called Terp Connect. You can see in the URL here, and it's also linked on the web page, terpconnect.umd.edu. This is a service that the university provides to you where, among other things, you get personal web space. That's a place where you can put your files on that server so people can access them. So if you go to the terpconnect.umd.edu page, you'll see that there's a link for personal web space, and it has all kinds of details about how this works. The main thing to look at here is what the URL looks like for you to access your pages. So the beginning part of this, www.terpconnect.umd.edu, that is the address for the server, the machine that has all these files. Then you do a tilde, that's the little squiggle next to the one on the keyboard, and your username. So you don't actually put the word username, you put your university ID. It's the thing that comes before the at umd.edu in your email address. And that will take you to your page on Terp Connect. For example, I can go to terpconnect.umd.edu slash tilde jgoldback, that's me. And this is my little test page that shows that my files are there. So this basically indicates that it should go to my personal directory on the Terp Connect server, that computer that's connected to the internet, and it will look for files in a particular folder there. So what you need to do in order to make this work is to take a web page that you've created, put that web page in the correct folder on the Terp Connect server, the machine connected to the internet, and then you'll be able to take a look at it. So that's what we're going to look at now. The first thing that you need to do is get an FTP program. I recommend one called FileZilla. This is made by the people who do Mozilla, um, the Firefox browser. It's free. It works on most platforms, uh, including Linux, Windows, and Mac. I have it linked in the web page, too, but you can search for FileZilla. And you download what's called an FTP client. This is the FileZilla client. That's just a piece of software that will transfer files from your computer to another computer. And in this case, we're going to transfer files from our computer to the Terp Connect server. So you want to download that and install it. I actually have mine running over here. And this is what it's going to look like when you open it. So it looks a little bit techy, but it's not that bad. What you need to fill in is this little row of things at the beginning. So our host is going to be terpconnect.umd.edu. 
All this info is on the web page, so you don't have to just follow it in the video. Your username and password are your standard username and password that you use to log in to all the surfaces on campus. And then in the port field, you want to put 22. This is required to do a secure connection, which the university requires. Then you can click Quick Connect, and it will give you this message, usually only the first time, that says, hey, you're trying to connect to someone that you haven't connected to before. We know that this information is right, and so we can say OK. And now it's connected. So we get over here on the right a view of the server. And on the left, this is a view of our local computer. So let's start off with the server here. We've got this big, long set of directories. But here we can see Jay Golbeck, that's me. And if you click on that, there's a set of folders here. And pub is the one we're interested in. You can see it listed here. And it's also listed down in the main window. So it will start off with you in home, but click on your username and you'll see pub. That's the directory where you have to put your files. So you can double click that here and you can see I already have some files in my space here. You might not have any because you haven't put anything online yet. Um, so yours just may be blank. You may have this dot dot. That just means to go up a level in the directory so you can ignore that. So this might be blank. The next thing you want to do is find your files. Now, you could just find them on your computer and drag them into this window, or you can actually use it over here. If I go, for example, to Users, Goldback, and Desktop, I can then see all the files that I have on my desktop. And for example, I have one called test.html. I can drag that from this window, which is my computer, over to this window, which is the server, and let go. And it drops it up there, and now we can see test.html has appeared there. Once you've uploaded your file, you can then go back to your browser and go to terpconnect.umd.edu slash tilde your username slash the name of the file that you just put up there. So your main file should be index.html. And when you go to that here, we see that test file that I had before. You can put up any file that you want with any name. It doesn't have to just be index.html. And then you can put in that file name. For example, if we switch back here, we can see that I have a file 008.jpg. I can just go to that after my username, 008.jpg. And we can see that this is that image that I have there. Similarly, you can see that I have some folders here. And I can go into those folders. So let's click on that in the FTP. So I have hw1, and then there's an index file in there. So I can do slash the name of the folder after my username. And that will bring up the default page. In this case, we have a page that I made about broccoli, which is likely a page that I'll make with all of you. And we can put individual file names after that as well. So if I expand this out, we can see I have broccoli02.jpg. I could put that after the folder name and then see just the image. So the idea here is that you're moving files from your computer onto the server so they'll be accessible on the internet. You can't have people accessing pages from your computer without a lot of work and a lot of headache. We put them on the server, and then inside the pub folder on Terp Connect is equivalent to going to this URL here. You can make folders, you can put files, and that lets you access them on the web.